go. And they're off. The sand is blinding them, heading out of their habitation zones. All six robots making it out. Both of them tied up scores. Can anyone place a hatch cover? It looks like 7160 has that hatch cover, but it falls short landing on the surface of the planet Primus. Down on the Red Alliance, we've got team 5213 and their partner 7155, both working on hatch covers. Now 7155, you'll notice it's flawed. Blue Alliance 6075, nicknamed El Zorro, sporting a black and yellow pattern. That ramp designed to help robots drive up. We saw it happen once or twice yesterday. We're hoping to see it a little bit more today. They're also driving, that's Blue Alliance 6075, driving on Mechanum Base so they can go sideways, they can go forwards. Looks like they're wanting to uh, make it very difficult to secure hatch panels. Chimeris, that's the Blue Alliance 1684. On the side of that sleek looking bot, you've got two, a pair of one gallon air cylinders powering their pneumatic system. That's Chimera 1684, loading up that cargo ship about as fast as they can go. Underneath powering the Chimera's robot, four of the new brushless Neo motors, giving them more torque, more speed, and more power. The Red Alliance 5213 has started its ascent, climbing up in the habitation zone to level three. Their teammate successfully making it onto level two, and we're just now entering the end game. Red Alliance is working their way to get up into that, that third level. They've made it successfully. Blue Alliance has made it successfully. Blue Alliance also 7160 making it up to level two. All six robots inside the hab zone. The final score, launch. The Blue Alliance, 71 to 46. Congratulations, Blue Alliance.